and heading to our final match of the day, 285 pound in the open division. Your number one seed, Denzel DeJournet, wrestling out of Appalachian State. Ranked top 10 in the country, number 10 to be exact. And he's taken on Glenn Gorink of Davenport University, who just picked up one of the most awkward falls of the tournament over Thomas Haynes of Ohio State. Ross Thatcher was saying there was at least 10 inches of space in between the mat and Haynes' back, but either way, He's in the finals and he's wrestling Denzel DeJournet. So on his way to the finals, DeJournet knocked off Chuck Body of Bucknell, then Demetrius Renfro of Michigan State. And then knocked off Smirchek of Central Michigan, Newton Smirchek, by major decision. Gorink, as I mentioned, in the semis, knocked off Thomas Haynes. Before that, knocked off Linton of Notre Dame College. And then Bunce before that, Bunce out of Northern Illinois. And then the first match knocked off Austin Meyer, one of the top recruits in the country from West Virginia, knocking him off via fall at 454 in round one this morning. So 0-0 zero, zero, still tied. Red hit with stalling. So Gorink hit with stalling. as DeJournet has been pushing the pace the entire match. And now Gorink pushing the pace. So it changes the call midway through after discussion. Midway through changes the call from red stalling to green stalling after the referees get back together. And now Appalachian State coach is warned for controlling the mat area. So, with that, no points awarded. So they take away the stall call from Garink and give it to DeJournet. So now, they both have a stall call. Two seconds left here. So now they both have a stall call. Here to start this second period. I've never seen a referee change a stall call after coming together with another referee. The power of the stripes. So DeJournet starts on bottom, tripods up, comes up to his feet, fights the hand, gets one for the escape, now has the unhook on the right side. Continuing to push, Gorink circles back to the center. Both guys just pushing. Oh, 
coaches of Appalachian State screaming, he's walking right into you, so trust it. So they're saying they want a shot. This period, 54 seconds left. So now Garink with the rush and tie. Dijonet gets out of it, now has the underhook on the right side. <laughs> And there goes Garink's stall call. So now Dijornet leads 2-0. Riding time currently not a factor, set at seven seconds. And an Appalachian State young fan giving Glenn Garink some words of encouragement as he's saying, Glenn, nobody is your friend on the mat. Let's get it going. So Garink selects the down position to start the third period, 150 left. So yes. Garink looks like he chose the wrong position as Denzel DeJournette doing a good job of riding tough here, staying under the arms. Constant pressure on the hands, now on the elbows of Garink. So Garink comes up to his feet and DeJournette's been hit with stalling. He needs a big lift here before he gets hit again. Brings him back down to the mat. Garink comes back up to his feet, and Dijonet's going to get hit again if he doesn't bring him back. And he doesn't get hit with stalling, but he does bring him back down to the mat. And Glenn Garink is working to get off bottom, and there you have a stall call on Dijonet. And he's going to get hit again. And Garink gets the escape. Now it's a tie match. And Dijonet spins and gets the two for the takedown. 18 seconds left. And Glenn Garink hangs in there. Gets the one for the escape. And that'll do it here in our final match at the Michigan State Open. Denzel DeJournette knocks off Glenn Garink by a score of 6-3 to three to end the tournament.